Hello and welcome back to CS38 Racing. And this round we're going to be going to Pertamina Grand Prix of Indonesia. Alright, CD Racing must have had problems at Mategi. I think that their team expected a different result. They'll probably want to catch up in Mandalika. My performance wasn't good. I'll try to change things already in Mandalika. Let's keep it like that. Well, I have to say that I didn't expect such a lousy performance at Mategi. I have to congratulate CD Racing next year. That's all good. Keep them happy, I suppose. Now let's see what it's going to be like. <laughs> we're not, we're not finishing in front of Otola in the standings. It's just not, it's not going to happen. Uh, but we've got Indonesia, a home race in Australia, Thailand, Malaysia, La Salle, and then Valencia. So not long left in the season now. Oh no, it looks like we've got a mixed condition race. Um, by the look of it. Uh, that's sort of going to make it a little bit bad. We're hoping... Anyway, we'll see how we go. <laughs> All right, so you guys done in qualifying. Okay, so we're done here in qualifying. We've managed to make it into the top pretty easy here. We've been uh, quite good with our pace so let's stick on a soft soft combination and let's see what we can do around here oops I meant to do a meant to do a flying start there we go Let's use some power mode three around the Mandalika circuit. So there's lots of different lines you can take around this Mandalika circuit. But ultimately everything should be about keeping corner speed high. Oh, we're a little bit deep there. So that was not the ideal line through there, but anyway. I'm going to go to the inside of, I believe that was Mure uh, Munoz. Alright, so we've done a 143 there. I don't think that's going to be a really strong lap. Let's see if we can go any faster this time around. This section here we particularly need to improve on. That's the better line that you want to take through there.
we're managing to go 1.5 quicker here. What do we come across the line? With a 141.34. Let's return to pit and see how we go with the lap times. Let's look at the session. 3.2 ahead, that's a pretty big margin at this stage. I reckon it'll drop to about 2.5 to 1.5 seconds. Okay, no it didn't. We lead by 3.2 seconds. So very strange, we had an absolute shocker last time out in Japan. So let's hopefully bounce back with a win in Lombok. Okay, so we're down here on the grid. It looks like it's going to be going from cloudy to wet, so this could be something that does not work in our favor. Um, but I'm going to go with the medium front and the soft rear tire. Uh, actually, I want to change the ECU so that we're starting car mode 2. Okay, let's see how we can go. Got off to a really strong start here the rest of the field. Okay, so now we're coming up onto the back of Ortola. Going around the outside of Matt, uh, Suzuki there wasn't ever really going to work. We're able to take such a different line there compared to the AI. So now that we're clear, let's see what we can do.
Okay, so we definitely have a demanding lead over the rest of the field here. And all we can really hope for in regards to our championship and our objective is that Ortola loses some more points. But even if he does, I don't think it's going to make much of an effect. Either way, this is a good way to bounce back from Motegi, as Motegi was definitely a horrible race. And hopefully can put us in a really good position to get a ride in Moto2 for next season. So this would bring us into being 25 points. Uh, I'm not too sure actually where that puts us on the championship. Trying to ride while trying to read graphics is a little bit hard. But either way, at this stage, the rain looks like it's held off. For the most part. Is it starting? <clears throat> Looks like it's starting to spit in this lap here. <clears throat> Which, if they want to red flag it, or well, sorry, if they want to stop the race, it's definitely past half distance and would mean that a full race result would be declared. Let's see if we can get around to complete a lap.
run a little bit wide there. The track is definitely wet now. And we're on to the final lap. So now we just have to be cautious because of the wet track surface that we're on. Some interesting uh, tiptoeing It's a wonder they haven't called it yet. As we've definitely got wet spray coming back, even though we're running through on slicks here. definitely can't take these corners the same as what I was earlier in the race. There we go. I mean, there's only a few more corners to go anyway, so what was the point of declaring it like that? But anyway, that's a victory for us at Mandalika, a really good way to bounce back from Mategi. That puts us fourth in the championship. We're only 18 points behind Ortola. We're definitely, we didn't get our challenge there, but we did definitely uh, do damage reduction. So I still think we're in with the chance here of winning the championship if we have some really good runs in the final rounds. And, in, and it would also require that Ortola um, would take a bit of a dive in performance. Okay, so that puts us up to six in the team championships. So excellent. We take another step up onto the podium, which I believe to the top step of the podium, which I believe would be our sixth win of this season. Um, hopefully we can have a few more before rounding out the season and get to that Moto2. If you've liked this video and you like this race, make sure to like and subscribe and share the video around. Okay, give us a big thumbs up. It really helps us out here at the channel and stay safe see you guys on the next one